First, let's demonstrate what happens when stenciling using too much paint. Stenciling requires a different technique from wall painting. If the roller is wet to the touch, it will seep beneath the stencil, causing blurry edges. When the stencil is removed, you can see the wet roller bled paint into the design. Now let's learn how to stencil properly. Use repositionable spray adhesive on the back of the stencil to hold the details flat against the wall. Wait 30 seconds, then press the stencil in place. There is a registration mark in each corner of the stencil for lining up repeats. Use a piece of frog tape painter's tape beneath each registration mark. To prevent paint bleed, you must roll the excess paint off of the roller onto a piece of paper towel. The roller should be just about dry to the touch to stencil. Lightly roll several coats of paint through the design. Use a stencil brush lightly coated in paint for the registration marks. Swirl excess paint off onto paper towel until the brush feels just about dry to the touch. Swirl paint through each registration mark. Peel the stencil off the wall and line up the registration marks for each repeat. As you stencil, you may need to reload your roller. As you continue stenciling, the roller will become more evenly coated in paint. Roll the excess paint off onto a piece of paper towel until it is dry to the touch. Roll several light coats through the stencil, then repeat the process each time. Line the stencil back up with the design if there are any areas that need another coat. Once finished, remove the painter's tape from the surface of the wall. 